Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's Nadawa from Paper Flow Designs and I'm coming back to show you another little demo or rather to talk about seven apps to make SVG files. I have this as a free download on my website and people seem to like it. So I figured, okay, you know what? I'll come on here and demonstrate what I'm talking about. That's, for me, it's easier to see than just read something or just have both. So in this blog post that I did, I just talked about um, the seven apps that I use. I haven't tried all of them, but I have tried some of them. Um, I'm still, I keep saying I'm gonna go through and try all of them. So this is a good opportunity to go ahead and try them. One of them that I use is called, what is that? Let me see if I can switch over to that screen. get this out of the way yeah that's better that you can see exactly what i'm talking about so i wrote up this article to show you that you don't necessarily need to have adobe illustrator if you don't have it it's fine you can still make svg files with lots of other online um online apps that you don't have to download to your computer as well so. I did a video on it before and I figured, you know what, it's a good time to renew it and talk about and actually show you what one of these looks like. Because I think in the last video, I see this is a problem with when you're, you have like all these things going at the same time. All right, here's my list of all of the apps that I recommended. And the one that I first want to try is called Method Draw. So I'll click on that, and then it'll actually open up the app right in your browser. So you can see there's nothing that you have to download. It's all right here. And if you've already used Inkscape before, it's pretty similar to what you'll find there. Um, it's just like your standard pen tool, um, color picker, text option, and um, shape um, options. So if I click on the shape, and let's say, let's choose a star. I can click and drag that to make a little star. Right here, it only has a stroke on it. I can see because it says 1.5 width stroke. I can change that stroke. I can take it away. Um, I can also color the star. So as soon as I come down here to where this little color menu is, it automatically uh, highlights the um, color picker tool. So I can pick light colors dark colors you can see as you go further down towards the bottom it's got lighter colors and towards the top you have darker colors uh, i can also write text let's see i can click and drag that and let's write oh. superstar why not Change the text uh, by coming over here to the right side panel. It's got the menu functions for the text. I think I need to highlight it first. So I'll come back, highlight my text, and then come to the font and change it to, I don't know, what does that give us? Okay. So they've got a few options for you. You can also bold the text. Oh, I see. I don't need to highlight it again to bold it. I can change the font size here. Oh, that's cool. You can just like click and drag and then it changes the font size. You can click and drag it up to make it bigger and then click and drag it down to make it smaller. That's pretty cool. I can change the color. Once again, I go down here to the color menu and then choose, click on anywhere on the color picker. That's something that we can see that matches. That's not bad. So that's just one of the apps that I recommended that you can use to make SVG files. And then you can save this as an SVG. And um, if you use um, like machines like Cricut,
there. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Good technology. All right, so that was just a quick example to show you one of the seven apps that I recommended that you can use. If you don't have um, Adobe Illustrator, but you still want to make SVGs, you can do it using any of these um, seven online apps that I mentioned. I do have the link to where you can get a list of all of the apps because you know I figured you probably didn't have time to write them all down as I showed them to you. But right there on the bottom um, on my website, you can find all of the seven apps to try out the ones that you like, uh, see what works for you, see what's easier. Um, I just tried out the first one that I mentioned called Method Draw. It was a really easy user interface. I just clicked it open and I was you know, able to start working in it right away. Everything was pretty simple. It's like pretty bare bones, but everything is just you know simply there for you to see and to work around with, play around with it and to save it. So I thought, okay, that's a good option. It's got the colors, it's got text, pretty much all the basic things that you want and need. Um, if you're looking for it, like I said, you can get it at Paperflow Designs slash blog slash apps to create SVG files. The link is, I will put it in the comments if I can, because then it'll just be easier to click on it. And you can also go to that website and download that list. I have like a button where you can just, yeah, I think enter in your email address. It's free. And just, there we go, let me, there it is. So I put the link in the first comment if you want to get that list. Uh, let me just go back and show you again what it looks like. So this app called Method Draw. Like I said, it is uh, an online app. There's nothing for you to download to your computer. So if let's say you don't have a lot of space, let's say you don't um, want to just download anything to your computer, you can go online and make SVG files really easily with these apps, um, especially this one called Method Draw. So go ahead, play around with that. Click on that, test it out, see if you like it. It's got you know simple functions, the text tool, it's got shapes, it's got of course like the line tools. You can save your objects in there, you can save your SVGs, use them in Cricut, use them in Silhouette. Um, let me know if you do try it, uh, if you like it, uh, or other maybe another one that you tried and let me know if you like that better. Let me. I'm just jumping on here really quickly because it is in the middle of the day and the family is on the other side of the door waiting for me. Um, we're like uh, gonna have like a snack or something. So hopefully I'll be able to come back on here and show you a little bit more of these apps that you can use because it's one thing to hear about them and to see them or read about them in a blog post. But I think it's a lot more useful when you can see it in action and see uh, what the functions are and how easy it is to, to use them and to get them. So if you do have any questions or comments, thank you for the like, you know, go ahead and share this um, video if you think someone else would like to, to know about these. Because um, it's, it's good to have all this information, but it's, um, it's also better to share it with people that could also benefit from it. So go ahead and share it if you feel like it's beneficial, if you liked it. And let me know if you have any questions or comments. And maybe if you do, I can come back here and do other demonstration videos that you'll find helpful. Other than that, have a good one and I'll see you again next time.